hello to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is a yes or no pick a card. So please make sure you ask your questions before you intuitively select your reading. Now for reading selection, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. If you already have an intuitive selection method chosen, please feel free to pause the video, make your choice, and I'll see you in your reading. For anyone who would like a little bit of assistance honing in with their intuition, I'll lead a short breathing exercise. Let's begin by closing our eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your question. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now one of the crystals or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that reading. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now when you're ready, open your eyes and select the reading that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, for reminders, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. Go ahead and make your selections. Use the timestamps in the comments and description to jump ahead to your readings, and I will see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the tiger's eye. Your first message of the reading is to overcome your fears. So whatever it is that you're afraid of, do what you can to overcome it. Step around it, whatever you can do, you know, to see what the fear means to you and try to rise above it. All right, now let's get your yes or your no from your transparent tarot, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please speak to us through the transparent tarot, answering yes or no for the questions of group number one. All right, I'll shuffle till the deck feels ready, and then I will cut and we'll deal right off the top, taking about three to five cards. Okay, let's see what you get. You start with the King of Pentacles. So that is a very generous energy. It can represent you. It can represent someone around you. But it is it is someone that is very financially stable, very stable in general. Now, next you get the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles talks about fear of poverty, fear of loneliness. You also get the five of wands, which looks at like fighting. All right, it's followed by the fool, which is you getting a new start. And then the two of cups comes out. All right, so I am gonna read this as a yes. It has got fighting and fear in it, so it is you know, it's not the most positive of yeses. There is the Two of Cups talking about your soulmate relationships, the Fool coming out, talking about going into a new journey, the next phase of your life. 
and the King of Pentacles talking about either you or someone in your vicinity who is helping you. You could be helping others or someone is helping you. Now, let's take a look and see what situations you're talking to Tarot about. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us through the Tarot of Dreams the situations of group number one. Okay. All right, so the Empress, that could denote motherhood. That is very foundational. It's very... Um, very stable. The Queen of Swords, she is the protector. She is very sharp-tongued, but, uh, but she protects what's hers and who she deems her protection is needed for. Next, you get the Two of Wands. That is romantic and creative partnerships flourishing. So this Two of Cups looks really good. It looks like those of you that are asking about relationships you're moving into a really good relationship here. And finally, we get the death card. Death is the end of something for the start of something new. So something is definitely coming to an end so that something new can start. Now, I would like to get you an angel card before we get all the oracle for the tarot. Ooh, Archangel Gabriel. All right, Archangel Gabriel's the messenger. So there's definitely messages here for you if she has brought you here to watch this reading. So thank you to Archangel Gabriel. Now let's see what the death card draws out of Moonology. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, they have something ending in the death card for the start of something new. Please add whatever you can. Prosperity lies ahead. All right. So for some of you, this is a change in jobs. You or careers or something like that. Something is definitely ending, but it's going to lead you into prosperity. Now, I would also like Moonology for the Queen of Swords. Your dreams need a practical plan. Look at that. We've done the full moon in Taurus and the new moon in Taurus. So many of you may be Taurus sun signs or you know moon signs. Your dreams need a practical plan. Come out with the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords talks about action as well. So make a practical plan for whatever it is you're trying to manifest. You know, whatever you're asking about, whatever, you know, because it, you did get a yes. It's just there's some stuff that has to be dealt with. And you making a practical plan regarding what you want is part of it for some of you. Now, let's take a look at the... Queen of the Moon for the Empress. Beginnings. Ooh, so some of you are stepping into motherhood. Some of you are building strong foundations in your relationships. You're building strong foundations in your careers and everything, even your uh, education, really, with the new beginnings or with the new moon beginnings. Now, the the empress is so is very very foundational she's very abundant um so many of you stepping into an abundant period of your life now for the two of wands ooh you get beauty okay so these creative romantic partnerships they look beautiful they are you know maturing just the way a relationship should now let's take a look at the spell casting oracle for your transparent tarot. Career. Okay, yeah, no, so many of you are talking about your career with the King of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. You know, some of you are afraid you're going to lose your job. Some of you are afraid you're not going to be able to get the job you want. It looks positive. Like, you've got to go through something ending for this prosperity to to come out and you need a practical plan for it as well but it is your next phase to step into this prosperity to step into a career that you like more something that fits you you know the two of cups is partnership and um soulmate partnership to be specific so you may be finding a career that ignites your soul now let's take a look at what the Sacred Light Oracle has to add. 
you get inner oracle. You are a channel, deja vu, self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, so those self-fulfilling prophecies, they can also be sabotages on what you're trying to do in your life. So just make sure you remember you are a channel for healing energy. When you have deja vu, it is, you know, a it is an unsettling thing for some people, but it's not harmful to you at all. And then self-fulfilling prophecies, just don't sabotage yourself. Now, let's see what the spirit guides would like to add. Express your feelings. Yeah, express your feelings. That's how these relationships grow and mature. They, you express your feelings and you work together through your feelings and, you know, become stronger in the two of wands. And it is, it's a beautiful, beautiful relationship. Now, let's take a look at what the tiny starseed deck has to add. Okay. So you start with creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. Next, you get intuition. Trust your intuition. It's been guiding you to the answers you seek. And finally, you get gratitude. Universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. So make sure you're grateful for these partnerships you're walking into, whether they're romantic or creative. Um, be grateful to the universe for everything you have. And the universe is just going to bring you more beauty and wonderful things as well. All right, that's all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the Iolite. Your first message of the reading is to shift your money mindset. So some of you may not be attracting money. You may be, you know, worried about money, which will just draw more worry about money into your life. So shift to an abundance mindset and you should be able to bring in your abundance. Now let's take a look at your yes or your no. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the transparent tarot answering yes or no for the questions of group number two. All right, we'll shuffle till it feels like it's ready and then we'll cut and deal right off the top. All right. Okay, so you start with the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups talks about having lots and lots of options and waiting for the good one. So it's a little bit of a delay, but you're stepping into your best option. Next, we have the Empress. This is foundational. It is, you know, abundance coming in. It is a connection to nature surfacing. It can also represent uh, motherhood. Now, next, you get the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is financial opportunities, material opportunities that are presenting themselves to you. Now, you do have the Five of Wands coming out, which is a little bit of fighting for what you want. So you're going to have to put your good energy in, but you finish up with the King of Wands, which says if you put your energy in, people are going to follow you. It uh, talks about creative projects and uh, relationships. Where, wherever you're putting your passionate energy, it is drawing people to you. All right, so everything here is very positive with the exception of the Seven of Wands, or I'm sorry, the Five of Wands. Um, that is just a little bit of fighting you're going to have to deal with. You're going to have to fight for what you want a little bit, but this definitely looks like a yes. All right, now let's see what situations we're talking about so we can get a little bit more advice. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations we're talking about. Page of Swords. So somebody's watching someone very closely somewhere. 
The hangman. All right, delays, the need for a different perspective. The four of wands. All right, that can be marriage, doors opening, things just working out. And the beautiful six of wands, which is victory and celebrating your victory. All right, so this looks like, you know, some of you are asking, are they watching my social media? Are, you know, are they too interested in what I'm doing? And, and that is the Page of Swords. You know, the Page of Swords is paying close attention to something. Now, on the flip side of that, it could be telling you, hey, you need to pay close attention to the situations that you're in because you have opportunities coming. Now, the hanging man suggests a little bit of a delay. There's a delay in the Seven of Cups as well. So whatever it is you're talking about, if you asked, is this gonna happen today? The answer is yes, it's gonna happen, but probably not in whatever timing you said. It's gonna be a little bit delayed. The Four of Wands talks about marriage first off. So some of you asking questions about marriage, proposals, that sort of thing. It also is doors opening to wonderful new ideas and concepts and, you know, relationships. It is a door opening for wonderful things to come through. And then the Seven of Wands talks about your victory. So you will be victorious wherever you put your energy. Now, before we get Oracle for all the tarot, let's get you an angel card. Compassion. Okay. So the angels are pouring out their compassion on you. They are there to help you. You know, whether you, whatever your belief system is, angels, spirit guides, greater beings, you know, uh, beings of love and light, whatever you believe in, they are trying to bring you compassion. They're showing you compassion and saying you can call out to them. Now, let's start with Moonology for that Page of Swords. So, with the paying attention too closely, social media watching, that sort of thing in the Page of Swords, what is there? Ooh, a fiery climax approaches. So, if someone has been um, spending too much time on your social media and you have noticed it, it's getting ready to come to an end. You know, there is gonna be an end to it. If it's you that is watching, you know, other people's social media too closely, then you're going to see, you know, you're, you're gonna see what it is you're expecting to see. You know, the fiery climax of whatever's going on. Now, just, you know, it's, it's a lot of different messages with this. But, uh, but the page of coins or the page of swords is also you needing to pay attention to the details. So please remember that with this king of wands over here, this king of wands could be your fiery climax as you step into a creative project that's really going to do well. Now let's see what queen of the moon has to add for the hanging man nourishment all right so while you wait for your ship to come in essentially nourish your soul nourish your body you know, nourish your spirit your experience here all of that bring that nourishment into your life now for the four of wands we'll also do patience okay yeah it's saying be patient there are good things coming in you just have to wait for them a little bit now, let's see what the spellcasting oracle says for that victory in the Six of Wands. Okay, so where are they experiencing victory with the Six of Wands? Ooh, you got blessings coming out. Okay, so you are being blessed with what you want. You got a yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. It looks very, very positive. And compassion comes out a second time. Make sure you are showing yourself compassion, you know, treating yourself the way you would treat your best friend. And also show your compassion to those that you have the opportunity to affect. It is a, a wonderful light you can shed on the planet. Now, let's see what the Sacred Light Oracle has to add. Temple Secrets. Secrecy, Isolation, Observation, Ritual Magic. Okay, so some of you are already very well practiced in candle magic and... Uh, intention magic you know you guys are some of you 
are already very good at manifesting what you want, bringing it in, that sort of thing. This secrecy and isolation, I think that's going to come to an end. I think that, uh, you know, some of you, this is somebody watching you and you've been trying to keep some part of your romantic life a secret. So for whoever that's for, it's going to be okay. This is coming to an end. Your secrecy isn't necessary. You know, you do you and love who you want and everything is going to be okay. All right. So that was very specific. Let's see what the spirit guides draw out. Understand your body. Okay, yeah, I know you got the nourishment card here too. So make sure you're feeding yourself fuel and not junk so that you can be here, you know, functioning at your highest capacity with your wonderful compassion. That is a gift to the world that, that you bring. Now, let's see what the tiny star seed deck has to add. Oh, you got four. Okay, let's see. We're gonna start with light. It's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. That is absolutely true. That's gonna go right here. You get fruition. Rest assured your dreams and visions will come to fruition, absolutely. Celebration. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe. And finally, creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. So those of you that are asking about uh, creative projects, you know, writing a book, doing art, music, whatever it is you do that you're passionate about, that you want to start, now is a good time to step into that creativity. All right, that is all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the Shungite. Your first message of the reading is to detox your life. So whatever you have that doesn't serve you, whatever you have that's toxic, think about getting that out of there. Let it go. You'll feel so much better. Now, let's take a look at the transparent tarot for your yes or your no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us through the transparent tarot, answering yes or no for the questions of group number three. All right, I'll shuffle till it feels ready. Then we'll cut and deal right off the top. Okay. You start with the Three of Cups, which is celebrations. Then you have the Five of Wands, which represents fighting. You have the King of Cups, which is a mature um, emotional energy and you have uh, death coming out. So that's the end of something for the start of something new. There is some looking back and seeing what you've, how you've grown. And then there's also some fear around your decisions. Um, the universe is speaking to you through your dreams. Like this is, uh, this is a no to whatever you're asking Tarot. But there is some very um, positive aspects to it. You know, there's something to celebrate here with, uh, with the no. So many of you hoping for a no. There is some fighting. There is, you know, this really positive energy in the King of Cups with, um, with emotional things. You know, you are emotionally strong enough to deal with whatever and then you've got the Six of Cups as well, which is about looking back and seeing how much you've grown. All together, though, it says no to whatever you asked Tarot. You've got, uh, you've got several cards in there that are, you know, making it a negative response. So the answer is no. Now, let's take a look at the situations you're asking Tarot about. 
so we can get a little bit of added guidance. Page of Wands. So some of you talking about reunions. Magician. All right, manifesting what you want. Absolutely. If you wanted a yes here and you got a no, you can manifest what you want. Just, I mean, focus on using all of your skills and abilities to manifest it into your life. And it, it will work out for you. Like the fact that it's a no right now doesn't mean it's a no forever. Next, we get the Queen of Swords. That's, she's the protector. She is very sharp-tongued. You know, she says what she means. She doesn't pull any punches. And, and she takes action as well. Now, finally, ooh, the Knight of Cups. All right, so some of you are asking about proposals. Again, the answer was no, but um, it could grow into that, or it could be that this relationship is ending for another beautiful relationship to come in. So, you know, take it however it resonates. It may just be delayed, but, uh, but for right now, the energy is not showing the proposal that some of you were hoping for. Now, let's take a look at the angel deck to see what additional information we can get. Forgiveness. All right, so forgiveness is for yourself. It is not really for the other person. It's to set you free. So forgive yourself for whatever you've done, forgive others for whatever they've done, and let it go. You'll feel so much lighter, so much happier, so much, so much more ease in stepping into this magician energy. Now, let's see what Moonology says for the Queen of Swords. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take it. This is not even the Moonology deck. So clearly that Cherish Innocence needed to come out. You are the protector of you. So treat yourself like, you know, like you would taking care of a child. Be nice to yourself, okay? Cherish Innocence. Cherish your inner child. Be nice to yourself. Now let's get the real Moonology deck and look at the Knight of Cups. All right. So the Knight of Cups, look at the bigger picture. Okay. So like I said, some of you were asking about a marriage proposal. It's not, the answer is no. You need to look at the bigger picture and see that maybe you're stepping into something better by this no. Now let's see what Queen of the Moon says for that page of wands. Some of you were asking about reunions with, you know, old relationships change. Okay. Yeah, no, it's going to be a change. You're not going to be going back into that old relationship. You're going to be going into a new one with someone new, whoever you manifest here. All right. For the magician, I will also do Queen of the Moon. So let's see. Creation. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You are creating your life. You are creating the relationship that you want. So just because it's no right at this minute or no about this person doesn't mean you're not going to step into a wonderful relationship that you yourself help create through your manifestations. Now, let's see what the spellcasting oracle says about the transparent tarot. Clarity. Okay, yeah, no, this is this is pretty clear that uh, that it's a no. And it's also the start of a new beginning. So it's no to whatever you're asking about, but something great is headed in. You're going to manifest exactly what you want as long as you put your energy into it. You're the creator of your universe. So make it be what you want it to be. Now, let's see what the Sacred Light Oracle has to add. Cosmic Gateway, insecurities, connection with others, refocusing. All right, yeah, you may need to refocus on yourself just a little bit and give yourself the energy that you need to progress. You know, take good care of yourself. Now, let's see what the Spirit Guides have to add. Be of service. Okay, yes, be of service. Do something for your fellow human being. 
you know, do something for the world that's beneficial and you're going to step into beautiful brilliance. You can use your manifestation powers to, to be of service as well. You know, do something that spreads light into the universe. Now, let's see what these tiny star seed decks ha deck has to add. Okay. One more, please. All right, we'll cut to it. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're going to start with advancement. A strong energy is propelling you forward. Follow the stirrings of your heart. Absolutely follow your heart. It's going to take you into wonderful things. Next, you get observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. So this could be a little bit of meditation. This could be advice to spend some time in nature. You know, the divine matrix of life is uh, worth observing. Now, you also get wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. So there was that five of wands buried back down in there that was talking about fighting. Whoever your adversary is, they're a chance for you to spread your light. So show them love and move past them. All right, that is all I have for reading number three. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the red jasper. Your first message of the reading is to take action. So your whatever you're talking to Tarot about today, you need to take some action. Now, let's take a look at your yes or your no. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the transparent tarot, answering yes or no for the questions of group number four. All right, so we'll shuffle till the deck feels ready, and then I'll cut, and we'll deal right off the top, taking three to five cards. All right, here we go. Let's see here. All right, there's a lot of pinnacle energy. Uh, this two of pinnacles talks about figuring out where you're going to spend your money and trying to balance things. You're know, trying to balance your um, finances and you know, what you need. Now, the next thing that comes out is the king of pinnacles. That can represent you or someone around you, but it's a very financially stable energy most of the time. Um, it could, I mean, it could be not, you know, not abundant, but very stable. Now, let's take a look. The Seven of Cups talks about you having these great options that are headed your way. You just kind of have to wait for them. The Five of Pentacles talks about fear around finances, fear of loneliness. It's definitely a fear. And then finally you get the chariot. So that is your determination driving things forward. This looks like a yes to me. Like there is the fear going on in the five of pentacles and there is the, you know, kind of challenge to balance your finances, to keep things in check and to, you know, figure out where you're going to spend your money. But with that King of Pentacles bringing in the stability and the most likely abundance, like I said, it doesn't have to be abundance, but it's very oftentimes abundance. Now, the Seven of Cups, that's all these options that you're going to have. And then the Chariot says you're going to go for it. You're going to step into it by your own determination. So the answer to whatever you ask Tarot is a yes. Now, let's see angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations they're talking about so we can get some added advice. Okay. Judgment. You're getting a second chance. Palace of Cups. You need to do a little bit of meditating and figuring out what it is you want on an emotional level. Make sure that you're on that path. 
Four of Cups, so some boredom, some wishing things were this ideal way and ignoring kind of what you have going for you. And then the Two of Coins, again, the Two of Coins is about making decisions. You're going to have to make decisions about financial things. And uh, some of you are asking questions, you know, should I take this job? Should I take that job? Should I stay in my current place of employment? The answer to whatever you ask, the way you asked it is yes. So just, you know, make sure you're following your good intuition as well. Don't just jump, you know, actually look at the decision and make the decision. Now, let's see what the angels have to add to your reading. Be strong. Yeah, you absolutely have to be strong. You're going through a transitional period of your life. And, you know, you're stepping into this greater abundance. You're getting a second chance. You just need to be strong through the changes. Now, let's see what Moonology says for the Four of Cups. Uh, a new start is coming. All right, so stop wishing for things to be a different way. You're getting a brand new start. Now, what does Queen of the Moon have to add to the Palace of Cups? Let's see here. Assessing. Yeah, spend some time meditating, assessing where you want to go because your determination is going to drive you there. Now, I would also like Queen of the Moon for judgment. Yeah, second chance full of life and resistance. You are strong enough for this second chance. It's time to take action wherever that is. Now, I would like to get the spellcasting oracle for that two of coins. Let's see. They're making decisions with their money. They're having to make these decisions. What is there to add? Empowerment. You are empowered to make these decisions. Some of you, this is leaving a situation that uh, does not serve you and just take the action, step out of it. You are empowered. You're in control. Make the decisions you need to for your best benefit. Now, let's see what the Spellcasting Oracle says for the Transparent Tarot. Boundaries. You are breaking through your boundaries. You are excelling into a new stage of your life and these boundaries are, they're imaginary. You have, you are limitless. Now, let's see what the Sacred Light Oracle has to add. Energy medicine, sensuality, devotion, celestial fertility, and deep rest. All right, so some of you need to heal your energy. You've been in situations where people are kind of feeding off your good energy, you need to focus some of that energy back on yourself because you need a little bit of a break. Now, what from the spirit guides? Worry is a wasted emotion. Yeah, don't worry. You're stepping into something beautiful. You need to heal yourself a little bit, but you're going to break through your boundaries and you're going to excel. Now, let's see what the little star seed deck has to add. Okay. So you start with channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. Next, you get earth guide. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. And finally, you get ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. You absolutely are. This looks like beautiful changes coming in. Don't worry. You're plenty strong enough. You're going to step into something beautiful. All right. That is all I have for reading number four today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the Celestite. Your first message of the reading is to soothe your soul. So do something to soothe your soul. Take good care of you. 
Now let's take a look at your yes or no through the transparent tarot. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us through the tarot. Answering yes or no for group number five. All right, I'll shuffle till the deck feels ready and then we'll cut and deal right off the top. Okay. Let's see here. You start with fast moving situations and spirit guide messages with the eight of wands. Next, you've got the page of cups, which is fun, socializing, good times. The emperor coming out, which suggests you taking a power role in your life. Ace of pentacles, so something new starting with regards to monetary things or um, foundational things, new jobs, new careers, you know, new sets of circumstances. And then finally you get justice, which is talking about everything being balanced. This looks really great. This is all very positive. It's a yes to whatever you're asking, Tarot. Now, let's see a little bit about the situations you're asking about. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations they're talking about. So we can get a little extra advice. Thank you. Palace of Coins, so foundational, financial... All right, Nine of Swords, so you guys have had a little bit of anxiety. Whatever question you're asking may have some anxiety for you. King of Wands, so that is a beautiful positive energy. And Page of Wands, so some of you stepping into reunions, some of you asking about creative projects that are going to go super well. You know, some of you talking about things with regards to... Um, your life that just give you anxiety, it's going to be okay. You know, you're, you're going to be okay. And we'll get you some Oracle to see how you step out of that energy. But the palace of coins talks about you building the foundation for your, you know, success and abundance right now. Now, before we get Oracle for all the tarot, let's take a look at the angel deck and see what there is to add. Archangel Michael. All right. Archangel Michael, thank you so much for your protection. Archangel Michael is the protector. He also assists with cord cutting. So if you need to get rid of something that you're just carrying around, you know, energy that you really are done with, you can call out to Archangel Michael for help with that. Now, let's see this period of anxiety with the Nine of Swords. How do they step out of this energy? Work through your fears. All right. So... That's, I mean, yes, you will get past the anxiety you're feeling. You've got to work through some of your fears. Now, please know that I am not in any way a doctor. This is, you know, the feeling of anxiousness, okay? It is not meant to diagnose anything, anyone. Let's just, you know, disclaimer, not a doctor, not anyone in the medical profession. But there is a period of anxiety in the Nine of Swords. You're going to have to work through your fears to come out of this anxiety. Now, I would also like Moonology for the Page of Wands. You are good enough. Some of you are talking about reunions, wanting to get back together with someone from your past. You are plenty good enough for this. If it's what you want, you can manifest it into your life. Now, let's see what Queen of the Moon says for that King of Wands. attraction. Ooh, okay. So for some of you, this is a relationship. You may already be in the relationship and it's just taking the next level. Um, or this is a creative project and you are just super attracting wonderful things to, I mean, the attention to your project so that you will get the attention you want. Now for the palace of coins, self-love. You need to take care of yourself. Your foundation should be self-love. It should be starting with you and moving out into the universe. So take good care of yourself. Now, 
let's see what the spell casting oracle has to add for the transparent tarot you get truth okay yeah truth and justice there is you know a balance here you are the answer to whatever your question was is definitely yes there's a truth to it you can see inside yourself for whatever you're looking at whatever situation you're looking at and thinking about the truth is there you're going to be able to find it now let's see what the sacred light oracle has to add magical alchemy innovation ingenuity curiosity ahead of your time so you guys are definitely ahead of your time there is an ingenuity to you so this it, for those of you where this is a creative project and that's what you're asking about it looks fantastic throw yourself into it it's going to be great now let's see what the spirit guides have to add so from the guides calm is not a weakness see this says do something to soothe your soul bring this calmness in it's not a weakness at all and show yourself some self-love. Like you need to take care of yourself a little bit as you step into whatever it is you're asking about. Now, let's see what the tiny star seed deck has to add for you. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors out of the tiny star seed deck, please. Okay, we'll cut to them. You start with transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitation and allow your soul's light to truly shine. Next, oh, no, nope, not all that. We'll take that one. Truth. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. It says truth here too. You are, you know, you are stepping into your truth and it is wonderful. And finally, you get reflection. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. So pay attention to what's going on inside you. Spend some time reflecting on your thoughts, your emotions. See yourself as the, the hidden self and really go into what you want to attract. All right, that is all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.